Hello, blessed people, and welcome to a new episode of the World of Blessing, the podcast. Today, we are going to talk about three of our main characters. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. So today I choose three um, of the characters to talk about. So they are um, Wyatt, Chris and Prue. As you all know, Wyatt, Chris and Prue are the main three out of the main nine. Um, so I think it was the, the um, it was right to start with these three. So let's get to Wyatt. Who is Wyatt? I can say that uh, not much um, um, about this character, what's changed, um, because, you know, we, we are introduced to Wyatt in Charm, in season, um, in season six of Charm. And so I, I decide to, you know, to keep um, his personality a little bit like we 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 met uh like we met him back then um so yeah not not much had changed he's basic basically that same uh wyatt obviously a little older than 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 in char so um wyatt's full name is wyatt matthew halliwell he was born on february 2nd in 2003 uh as everybody knows Wyatt was born in the Hollywood Manor um, in 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 a date with uh, no magic. Uh, you all must remember that episode. It, I, I must say that th that episode is one of my favorites. Um, so Wyatt is an Aquarius, um, which uh, curiously is the same zodiac sign as I am, um, which is good. Go Aquarius. Um, Wyatt is a uh, um, Y-letter witch, so he's half Y-letter, half witch, and um, and yeah, basically that's the basic information of um, about Wyatt. Um, in Destin, when Destin uh, starts, Wyatt is I think uh, um, twenty-seven. If I'm not mistaken, or oh, he's going to complete 27 because uh, we saw in the year um, uh, 2030. So yeah, he's he's um, he's 26 when the show when the scene starts. Um, Wyatt is also the most powerful witch of his generation, um, as everybody knows. He is a twice blessed witch. Um, he's a destined one, so. Um, and and he, his birth was prophesied uh, centuries ago. Um, so he's the first born, uh, twice blessed witch. And I'm not going to dig a lot um, into this. Um, what the twice, what being a twice blessed witch means. Um, we'll get there when we we'll talk about. Um, the the episode um six um and so and 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 besides we have um season six where this um this fact is going to be really important um but yeah for now wyatt is the first born uh twice blessed witch and he's the most powerful character in destiny um it's not the only one um but 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 he's uh, he's the most powerful we can i think we it is safe to to say he's the most powerful character so um you know he has the basic powers of a witch which which are spell casting potion making scrying and mediumship um but he also has a lot of other powers you know has to say 
quiet is uh, the most powerful witch of this generation. Um, his some of his powers are telekinesis, um, orbing. Uh, he also has the orb shield, molecular combustion, molecular immobilization, electrokinesis, uh, projection, um, and he has some. Uh, uh, conjuration, summoning, shrinking, all that stuff. He also have um, some of uh, Y letters power has uh, orbing. I think I didn't mention before, <laughs> but um, he can orb, uh, he can heal, um, he can sense, um, and some others. Has any other witch of his um, family? He has. Um, he has the ability to survive little attacks, so it is called high resistance and regeneration. Um, as I said before, twi Wyatt is a twice blessed which um, he is also a destined one, and he's going to become a lot of other things um, during the show. Um, I cannot spoil that in case you haven't you haven't read the the, the episodes. Please go and read them. Um, facts about Wyatt. Wyatt's um, biggest fear uh, is uh, becoming evil and, and hurting his family. Um, and this is important because this, um, this is, uh, tells us a, a lot about, about, about him. Um, this says a lot about who he really is. He has other fears, and with time we'll get to know Wyatt a little better. Um, about what else about Wyatt? Wyatt is um, a, a reporter. He was in the Bay Mirror, and he has his own uh, column. Um, and and uh, but there's some, some other things about Wyatt that I cannot share just yet but um you'll see that there is another you know uh, why it has uh, it's it's somehow involved into in p3 and we'll get to that later in in season one and i think it's gonna be interesting um at the start of season one wyatt is single so he's not dating anyone um at the start of the season but very soon we'll 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 realize that his um, his attentions are um are on someone someone unexpected i can say that um you probably know who she is um i'm gonna talk about her um in this episode um but he wyatt is has been always in love with this person i, I mean i i he, he never realized it before this is something new um i mean new for him but it's not new new you know because it exists has has long as he's been on this earth so um it has a six a four as long as uh he has been on this earth so um, but he he just realizes uh, his true feelings um in season one of destiny so yeah what else about wyatt well wyatt is the responsible guy you know he's um he he always wants to be in charge of everything and and he actually takes that part very seriously because he's the eldest of the destined one so the leader of um of the whole gang um why it why is also very optimistic and um and bossy he's um but he can also be loving and and kind um and 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 he's very a very protective you know he he takes very seriously the the being the protector of the of the family because uh, he's the, the the most powerful being um in the in in his um family and he is ready to do whatever he can to protect 
those he loves um and, and, and because you know it, it's it was born with him you know he's he's the first uh born witch of the next generation so it makes sense that he acts um this way up next let's talk about chris um chris is one of the characters of this new generation that we know the most um as you might remember chris was part of um season six of charm um who was there the entire time actually uh, he 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 um, he was introduced to us in in the last two episodes of season five um so he's the one um of this generation that we know the most uh obviously there are uh differences uh from this chris and the one um we knew in charm because as i mentioned before um this chris is not the same you know um again making some reference to the flash um this chris has lived an entire different timeline than the one uh, we met in charm so um christopher perry halliwell was born on october 25th 2004 as wyatt chris is also a wildlife witch half witch half wildlife um wyatt is a photojournalist and he works uh, in the Bay Mirror. Um, Chris has always had uh, this inferiority complex when it comes to um, to Wyatt. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that Chris is a Scorpius, I believe. I think so. Um, so um, he he always has uh, he has always you know live in Wyatt's uh, shadow um, and so he has this inferiority complex towards him uh, this is one of the things I decided to keep uh, from the original show um, Chris is not going to to do with this uh, through the whole um, the whole show um, he'll overcome this um, actually because uh, you you'll see in the future but chris ends up being um one of the strongest witches as well so um so he he won't he won't do with this uh, with this um let's call it issue uh for too long um but yeah uh, chris is a destined one that's the um, the only uh, magical status he has and um some of his powers are telekinesis um telekinetic orbing um and uh, well he, he will uh he will gain some others through time but he also has the basic powers as any other witch has mentioned before and some wild letters power has orbing healing photokinesis sensing um hovering uh, and of course the high resistance and regeneration are part of his powers as well um, Chris's main fear is um, curiously um, see his big brother uh, becoming evil yeah I think it makes sense uh, for Chris to, to 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 have you know that fear to deal with that um also um curious fact is chris um is the only male in the next generation um that carries a p name um as many of you know i had no saying in picking this uh, wyatt and chris's um names so those are the names they were given in the in the show um regarding his love life um at the start of season one uh chris is dating someone he's dating a girl named andrea brooks 
Um, Andrea knows nothing about uh, the magic world and we are going to see how Chris will deal with, with that in, the, um, in future episodes of season one. Um, but, uh, but yet. Um, so, um, what else can I say about Chris? Chris, uh, Chris is the obsessive, you know, the obsessive one of, of this family. He's, um, he's always ready to, to step forward and to fight whatever evil, uh, they have to fight. Um, but he, he's also, you know, always trying to, um, be ahead of, um, the, of everything. And he's, I, I, he's, and we'll see this in in future episodes his way to deal with um with what haunts him him is uh to fight him you know to to go and 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 be the one who uh goes after the demons before they come after them uh and that that's his way to deal with um whatever whatever problem he might have um so yes a chris is also the the one who in physically resembles the most um on crew so um and i think we, we all know that because we 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 saw that in season six of uh charm so as everybody knows Wyatt and Chris are Piper and Leo's uh, sons. Um, in next, we are going to talk about Prue Halliwell. The Prue Halliwell of this generation is the daughter of Phoebe Halliwell and Coop. Prue is um, the first born uh, girl of the next generation and therefore she is the most powerful female witch of her generation um for me um prue is the most fun character um and, and yeah she's my favorite i must confess um despite being created uh, for charm um i was able to to shape her my my own way so um while in in the comics she was um she was the the, the sixth i believe um eldest out of the nine in destiny she's actually the third eldest out of the nine um and she is also um she curiously when you know i started writing destiny back in it was uh, a shorter after uh, Charm ended. Uh, so in the comics uh, came out um, years later. But when the comics, comics came out, um, Destin um, was on already. So Prue was already um, created. And curiously, her name, uh, I named her uh, Prudence. Yeah, uh, but... Um, she first she was named uh, Prudence Brianna Halliwell. W after the comics comics came out, I changed her name to Pru uh, Prudence uh, Brianna Jonah Halliwell. Uh, so she's the only one in her generation that carries um, four names. Um, this decision of naming uh, of changing her name. Um, was very difficult for me because you know I, I never wanted to take the Brianna out of her. Um, and for me, it made sense to name her Prue. I don't know if you guys have read the the comics, but in the comics she goes by PJ. I don't. I I never wanted her to go, uh, but that um name in 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 destiny for me she is prue and period of course um we have 
Grams um, who calls her PJ, but that's all. That's all. And Destin, she's Prue. Period. But um, I, I, I didn't want to take the Brianna out because um, we're going to talk about that later in, in episode, um, when we talk about the episode six of Destin. But um, when Prue was born, uh, Phoebe had a vision. And um, that vision, she, um, she saw her daughter being all powerful. And, um, and, and, and she was reminded of Prue, uh, Phoebe's sister, and Brianna uh, Warren. Um, and so that's why she decided to name, uh, or that's why I decided to name uh, my character as Prue Brianna. Um, but then when the comics came out, um, the Jonah also made sense. But I wasn't sure I wanted to trade the Brianna for Jana. So in the end, I decided to keep, um, to keep both. And that's why Prue uh, has four names. Prudence, Brianna, Jonah, Halliwell. But she goes by Prue because it's shorter. Um, so Prue was born on February 2nd, 2007. And again, February 2nd, the same day as Wyatt. And why is this, you might ask. And we are going to talk about that in episode, uh, when we talk about episode six of, uh, of uh, the season, the first season of testing. Um, but yes, Prue, as, um, as Wyatt, is a twice blessed witch. She is um, the second twice blessed witch. And Prue is a Cupid witch. So she's half Cupid, half witch because he, her father is a Cupid. And so at the start of season one, Prue is also the owner of P3. And um, her magical statuses are being a destined one, a charm one, and a twice blessed witch. So she is the only one in her family that carries so many magical statuses uh though she's not the most powerful uh witch the most powerful again is wyatt we may think okay but she um she acts like she's the most powerful yeah in time you learn to call prue almighty prue <laughs> So, but no, she's not the most powerful. The most powerful is Wyatt. I think we can, it is safe for us to say that they are at the same level, kind of, but not quite, you know, um, because Wyatt is the eldest, period. And that makes all the difference. So that's why she, he, uh, Wyatt is the most, the most powerful witch. But Prue is the one who has, um, who has more um who carries more magical statuses so um about her powers so prue prue's powers uh, are telekinesis so this is one of the um, of the the melinda warren's powers uh and she also has premonitions uh these two are her main two powers um Prue also um, can uh, use uh, beaming in a telekinetic way. Uh, she can. Um, uh, she she also at the start of season one she also possesses the power of cryokinesis. Um, she's an empath as well. Um, and then uh, her cupid uh, powers uh, or the the ring abilities she possesses. Uh, I mean she's. She's a Cupid, and she and her sisters don't need the ring to use um, to use the, the, the to, to, to use Cupid powers. So uh, still they have rings because uh, it, the powers without the ring are limited. I mean, they cannot, uh, for example, travel back in time without the ring. They need the ring to travel back in time. Um, but for example, sensing, beaming, um, those powers don't need, um, the ring to be assessed, 
so this has to be has to be clear because uh, because uh, eventually some one of the those uh, one of those three witches uh, um will be um w will be um the the ring will be taken from her um so she uh, one of the sisters one of the three cupids we have we have in destin um won't be able to um to use um, certain abilities because she doesn't she won't have uh, the ring so um has any other witch who also has the ability to uh, spell cast potion making scrying and mediumship mediumship and also she um she um has uh, high resistance and regeneration um more things about brew um biggest fear so Prue's biggest biggest uh, fear is drowning um this is a characteristic shared by by uh, uh with uh, with aunt Prue, you know with her aunt um also more things about about uh, what well, ah uh, let me let me um, let me um make this clear that Bruce fear of drowning is not um it's not because her aunt um also had this fear no um actually i only um i only um remember this uh, long after i started uh, writing destiny because um it's not exactly drowning but um my biggest fear is uh, is water you know um and <laughs> don't get me wrong i love water uh but when it comes to water in you know in big quantities <laughs> um i'm kind of scared of that so let's uh, let's look at a pool yeah i am afraid of pools i am afraid of the sea so that amount of water is my biggest fear and that's why Prue's biggest bigger uh, fear at the start of destiny is also drowning um because it's based in myself and not in in auntie Prue. so um let's make this clear um Prue is one of the few in this generation that goes by her P name. Um, so Prue herself, she doesn't want to be called anything else. Actually, um, she, she was never uh, called by any other name. It was always, it has always been Prue, and she is proud of um, of being uh, Prue so so yes um also um phoebe calls her a uh, ladybug phoebe is the only one who um who calls her um ladybug another thing about prue is that she was born in the halliwell manor just like wyatt was and um there's only one other character that was born in the halliwell manor uh, and I mean a character from this new generation. And that other person is Charlotte, of which um, who is uh, Bruce's um, younger sister. And uh, um, and yeah, there is a reason uh, for that, you know. Um, and this it's uh, um, this thing between these three characters it, that is that um, in we you might remember that from Charm, you know, that Phoebe was born in the manor so she was more um she was more likely to become um to be attracted by evil um and and the same happens with wyatt prue and charlotte because the three of them were born in the halliwell manor so if any of these three become evil don't don't think it's weird because it is what it is they were born in the halliwell manor so it is they are 
more attra attracted to evil than any of the others. Um, so, um, what else can I say about this tree? Um, so, yeah, they are, like I mentioned before, the three main characters of Destin. And, of course, um, the, the serious focus on the nine of them. But uh, this tree will be in the center of the action um, many times. Um, especially when it comes to Prue and Wyatt. Um, Prue and Wyatt are our main um, couple of of Destin and they are going to they are going to have to deal with a lot of things um and, and you know i i love drama so obviously i had to have some drama in my my stories and this one is not exception um there's going to be a lot of drama around Prue and Wyatt and there's going to be a lot of drama in Chris's life so um, I cannot say a lot right now um, if you haven't read the episodes just go there check the episodes uh, read and 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 if you have any questions about uh, this three please do ask um, but 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 there's going to be a lot of drama around these three characters they are Wyatt, Chris and Prue and they are our main characters in, in, in the show um, next time I will talk about um, about Melinda, Charlotte and Cassandra um, but uh, for now uh, we are left with this tree so um, thank you for being there thank you for listening and I hope to, to hear from you soon please leave comments um, if you have any questions, you can um, you can email me your, your questions, leave comments, uh, whatever. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube and Spotify to get notifications about um, new episodes. So thank you so much for being there, and and I have a nice.